Hello, TT Workshop here. Today, let's talk about upgrading your M.2 KeE Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 module. So why would you ever do this? Well, you might be upgrading a motherboard that does not have wireless built-in, or you might be upgrading or repairing a failed or old hardware. As you can see, the two ASRock Phantom Gaming 4 X570 boards, there's a very big price difference over there. Um, when they are on sale, they might not have such price difference. You might not want to do this. Uh, but for now, it makes sense to spend 25 to 30 Canadian dollars and do the upgrade yourself. So let's head to eBay, search for Intel AX200 and find a whole bunch of listings. So as you can see, there are bear cards and PCIe versions. There is also a bundle with the card, antennas and adapter cables. And that's what I need. If your device already have antennas, then you might not need the entire bundle. You can just buy the card. Gaming laptops or previous generation motherboard, they might already have a module or the card in there with all the antennas. Then you can just replace the card and get access to Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. The first thing first, prepare the drivers, either on the same computer with uh, your old crappy Wi-Fi or download on a different computer and prepare them on a USB drive. This is the bundle I got. We have the card itself, antennas, adapters, and one M.2 screw for installing the card. Please note that there are two types of different antenna adapter cables. I highly recommend you to buy them in a bundle if you need them because the older type look almost exactly the same but they're actually not. And these adapter cables are called RP-SMA to IPEX MHF4. For the installation, it's very easy. Just snapping the little cables, maybe with the help from a credit card or something like that. Then we remove the nut and the washer and keep the locking washer and the other nut still in place. The nut is 8 mm. If you're doing the installation on an already built PC, you might have to remove the motherboard from the case to get more access space. Now just push in the antenna adapters through the I.O. shield on the motherboard. Then on the other side, put on the washer first, and then the nut, and then use the nut driver to tighten up. Then we install the two antennas. Nothing fancy here. Next, replace your motherboard into the case. Carefully insert the card into the M.2 slot that's designated by the motherboard. And then you might have to remove the electronic tape on the screw hole. And then tighten up the screw. Loop the adapter cable and hide it. And then reinstall anything that you might have removed during the process. Make sure everything's all connected and fire up your computer. Now let's go to the computer side. Install the drivers. I'll just fast forward here. Even though I do not own any Wi-Fi 6 router or other Bluetooth 5.0 devices, I still noticed a lot of increase in performance, especially the stability and the Bluetooth connection speed. It is almost instantaneous. Once everything is done, you will have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Test mode. And we are ready to go. Thank you.